Timmy, I've got a devious plan. That's right. Today, I want to do one of the paths I didn't do in Hoi 4 A to Z. You remember that series? I definitely remember that series. Alright, we just got done with our hungry game where we had to, um... Go literally everywhere in the world and as such I want to play a game where I'm very much isolated completely and by isolated I mean quite literally just um not Conquering the world. Hello everybody. It's me the Dutch cheese weed and wooden shoes <laughs> Also when listening to the Dutch language it gives people a headache because it sounds too much like English it's simlish. Alright, so when we did the Dutch in A to Z, we went down over here, which, um, it, it went okay, it went alright, but I want to go ahead and do Orange Boven, uh, which if you don't know, translates to Purple Below. And you go down enough of this path, you get down to this bottom part, which is Wilhelminism, which, uh, eventually gives you a puppet in Germany if you hold out against them. Uh, spoilers, but this, uh, this has been out for years now, and you all know already what Wilhelminism does. Uh, uh, but the real fun part is just gonna simply be from holding out against the Germans. Uh, I don't plan on letting them take a single piece of our beautiful Dutch land. And since No Step Back, there have been so many new buffs to entrenchment and defending that, uh, it's gonna make this very interesting. Oh, it's me, Hendrik. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very disappointed in you, Timmy, because you haven't hit the sub button. <laughs> could build forts, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to build AA. Uh, it's all fun and games building forts, but when the Germans turn up and have this thing called a uh, big plane that drop bomb, fort no work too well. Uh, as usual, I don't really have too much of a plan here. Uh, I always have a brief outline of a optimistic thing that might go down, but realistically, if you watch the uh, Hungry video, it never really goes that way, does it? Oh, Hendrik's dead. Now we got Dirk! Nice to meet you, Dirk! That's Dutch for hello! Ah, oh, yeah, so we need to do maintain trade neutrality, so both the Germans and the UK need to love us equally amounts. Uh, we can also, uh, placate them, so, uh, let's go do that! Ah, oh, Hitler, you've got such a... Wonderful mustache! I'm so jealous that you can grow such a natural beauty, whereas I, Dirk, have got the squirrel's tail I found by the side of the road and stuck it here! Hmm. Stanley, you're, uh... So sexy. <laughs> you're <laughs> Stanley! Alright boys, gotta say, I love you both equally, mustache and old, but, uh, I just gotta say I love myself more. Way more. Alright, so now we've done Orange Boven, we have the Symbol of Resistance, which is very good, gives us more defense, and then we can't do anything. We now have to wait until we are at war, which, uh, yeah, that's great, amazing, thank you very much, Paradox Interactive. Uh, so in the meantime, we can go over here and start building... Stuff, I suppose. Oh, there's no man I'd prefer for the job as army commander than Henry Winkle, man. Uh, yeah, I'm also saving up all my PP for the most part. We don't have anything good uh, that we really need to unlock right now. Um, so we're just waiting uh, until I can get more phone power so I can get more people in charge. Come on, Dutch people. That's not a word. How can you look yourself in the mirrors? And say, no, did you to pull you? So if, like me, you can't get any phone power because, damn, we have zero war support over here in the Netherlands. Uh, always remember, it is actually very useful to go ahead and get yourself the quick improvisation, which will give you daily command power gain, which will speed this up way more than it currently is. Yeah, so we're gonna make, uh, flame tanks, not because we actually really care about the flame part of the tanks since they've been nerfed, but we do care about the dozer blade, which will give us an extra entrenchment. And because we can also get some light tank recon, we've also got a dozer blade on that, which is another entrenchment. Yeah, we're just gonna make them as cheap as possible. We do not care if these tanks actually function, but their magical dozer blade is enough to stop the Germans, apparently. I don't even think I've ever done this, where you can actually just, uh, do the secret staff talks and re request equipment. Only the French gave me infantry equipment. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Gotta give it to the French, though. They are giving me equipment. Can I get more? They're giving me more equipment. Yes. Uh, UK, not so friendly, though, but apparently France is very much... Oh, never mind. I think they ran out of equipment. Damn, they gave us artillery there. I wasn't actually planning on using any artillery, but, uh, yeah, Britain and Germany still not doing it. Maybe I should just sucker up to France here. Yeah, I wasn't planning on using any artillery. I'm gonna use anti-air 
there instead. And as you can see, we gotta fill out these tanks. And we are gonna use our puppet's manpower to build our units. Well, there goes Danzig or war, which means it's time for us to ready up. Look how prepared we are. As soon as Poland falls, they will be uh, declaring war on us. And uh, I think we should be fine. Maybe. All right, as you can see, that's a lot of green arrows. So yeah, it's not going too well for the Germans right now. Uh, I haven't looked at their, uh, we've already killed 860,000 Germans. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm already going to go ahead and get rid of the queen. Uh, oh, the queen's going to get rid of that guy. And now we can keep going down our focus. We haven't been able to do the whole game. The only real problem is, uh, every time the AI pushes, I do lose my entrenchment if they move my front line up. Um, and I'm too lazy to actually go ahead and just, uh, uh, keep keeping on it. So uh, yeah, it's a little interesting. Yeah, they are uh, they are not too smart, and they keep endlessly attacking me too. Which is oh my god, the Bel <laughs> the Belgians are going in. Okay, now I think to get the Germans in a civil war, we do need to have all of our core territory. Uh, which thankfully we haven't lost any so far, which is which good. But we also need to own German provinces for it to happen. And uh, obviously my units are a brick wall, and brick walls don't move too well. And they are going crazy on this one province over here. I did manage to actually snipe a province off of them, so uh, I do get the feeling like we might be able to get the uh, German puppets of war going off pretty early, uh, but they are going ham on here because they can hit it from every side right now. And yeah, it is completely burning through my equipment and my manpower at that. I mean, we're inflicting a lot of casualties, but it's also hurting so bad. Germans have actually stopped attacking, which is not what I want at all, especially since they currently currently own one of my provinces, they actually managed to meme me out of there. Ooh, but there you go, now we're gonna do this, and this will give the Germans a Pro Kaiser Defector, which gives them minus 1,000 weekly manpower, and the uh, German Defectors form divisions. And if we manage to uh, push them out of our territory and occupy some land off them, They'll get the civil war. Right, that actually wasn't that difficult. If we can hold this province, oh, they, okay. As soon as I take that, they are up for the battle again. They're coming back in. That is good though. That is good. That's gonna make me taking some provinces off them even easier. That's right. They never saw the Grand Dutch defense coming, even though I was wearing wooden shoes and you could hear me a mile off. Yes, yeah, so I think the last time we did this, we did have to actually go all the way back. But this time around, uh, we haven't like been pushed at all, uh, other than this one province over here. But we don't talk about. And uh, we obviously done way more in casualties for the Germans too, which is uh, definitely looking very good for us. We got Wilhelminisms, which uh, means I am out of the Allies now, am I not? Am I out of the Allies? What's going on? Where am I? Hello, friends? Doesn't matter regardless. And now we just need to try and get a province off the Germans. I don't know how many we need or how this works exactly, but I'm pretty sure we just need to occupy some of their land. This is good. I don't know what the Germans just did, but they aren't very, uh, very looking very good over here. They go, they go, they go. <laughs> All right, so now we got our little German puppet, and uh, yeah, now we just need to win the war, essentially. All right, now I won't lie, I don't foresee our offensives going too well here at all, but uh, we're gonna have to do what we're gonna have to do. Oh, and there we go, we get a uh, new German unit to spawn too. I don't actually know how good. Oh, okay, they're way better than my units. All right, I'm gonna do a tactical save here. All right. Uh, because I noticed the French aren't feeling too good down there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a full attack on the front lines here, which isn't a good idea at all. Oh yeah, this was not good. This was not worth it at all. Um, but I wanted to see essentially what the Germans had behind their lines. Uh, I thought maybe they'd be a bit too busy dealing with other stuff, but no, they can they can still stomp me pretty easy over here. All right, we're gonna have to actually straight up change our units. We're gonna have to do something here to make them better. But if, if France ends up capitulating to the damn Italians, all right, after I've done so well, I'm I'm gonna slap you. Uh, the J the Japanese as well uh, probably will be coming to war with us at some point, but uh, I do not care for the Dutch East Indies. Sorry, Dutch East Indies, we got bigger things to do over here. Oh, speak of the devil, and he shall arrive. Well, uh, have fun, Dutch East Indies. I'm sure you'll be able to hold out on your own. I could still ask the French for more equipment. They'll probably give it me too. They love me, even though they're losing. We are still getting these uh, German defectors, though, which is good, because I'm going to make a whole new offensive army, essentially. It's just going to take me a little while. The is I could just milk the Allies for their Len Luce 2, and they'll just give me all the artillery I could ever ask for. Finally, the UK welcomes me back into... Are you going to kick me out again? Yeah, all I'm saying, Church, is I kiss Stanley Baldwin. 
And I'm gonna kiss you too. Yeah, that's right. Flood into my lands. Help me with the counteroffensive. Oh gosh, you guys had all this stuff. You wait, France. How did you have? Wh how are you losing to Italy a second ago? But wh what? All right, we're going for it again. I'm gonna do another test counteroffensive and uh, see if now with all of our allied support we might get somewhere before they all start dying of no supply. Ooh, you know, I think this might be it. I think that's all we needed. Uh, I did give some cast up, which it's it's not a lot, but it is definitely helping. Uh, so we might be able to push further east and do something here. I just liberated Denmark and immediately the I just naval invaded Poland. Okay, I think we've uh, I think we've hit the right thing to do here. Yeah, all it took was a. Uh, uh, oh my God! Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty bad, but we did do uh, 2.7 million to the Germans, so yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> is that worth it? That's a lot of Dutch people, I don't think that, that's, I don't think we, got, we could ever replenish that. I'm not really bothering pushing anymore, uh, I already won the war, because uh, as soon as this uh, piece is out, the German Empire, I will get all German land, as it is counted as a civil war now, which is very fun. Uh, so I'm just gonna save the very little manpower I have left, and uh, just wait for the Allies to do whatever they do. And, uh, it's very interesting to see what the Allies do do. Uh, guess I'll have to come liberate this at some point, too. <laughs> All right, they're gone. And as you can see, we can't take any German land as it will already be given to our puppet. Uh, I don't know what else we ever really want though, honestly. I don't really care about taking anything. I gave uh, Hungary over to the Germans and then uh, I took my crown jewel. Dutch Iraq. All right, now I won't lie. I'm just gonna straight up delete all of my army now and just reform everything to go deal with Japan. There you go. Now we're gonna work on annexing our German puppet. We're just going through my equipment right now and just uh, seeing just <laughs> the random crap I have. I'm kind of glad to be getting rid of it. I'm gonna be real with you, Spain. I don't think joining the uh, co-prosperity spear was a good idea. Now you're just uh, getting beaten up by Turkey. I mean, come on. Come on, bro. Alright, 10 billion trains created and sent to the Germans later. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We now have Germany. Well, a bit more than Germany, actually. Oh, so uh, the Japanese still do have their fleet. Uh, I have a fleet upgrade now that I have the remainder of the German one. Not really the best, but it should be enough for us to get some naval invasions off, even though it looks like... Well done, AI. You're really doing your job well. Uh, <laughs> just stole Spymaster of the Allies. And now I got quite a few people to recruit. All right, we're getting the army set up, though. Uh, looks like they're already pushing them back, but we are going straight for Japan. We do not care about Indonesia still. Ah, well, looks like uh, America's going to do the honors for me. They've just absolutely destroyed Japan. Oh, well, I guess uh, I won't be uh, needing this invasion anymore. Hey, they're all still at war with... Oh, they're at war with a ra You know what? Sorry, uh, Churchill, I'm busy that day. Uh, goodbye, Dutch East Indies. You served your purpose. I don't know what your purpose was. So he's haven't really done anything all game. I am extremely tempted to go poke the bear a little. I was gonna leave the Allies anyway, but they just kicked me out. Alright, this is gonna be so cursed. The Soviets have literally not done any wars this entire game. So they're gonna, one, be very strong, and two, we have such a small border to fight them, I'm not even sure how this is gonna go. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, yeah, as soon as I declared war on them, uh, we're like a month in, not even that, and um, the, the Soviets then declared war on Yugoslavia for some reason. Okay, wonderful. I will not lie, this has taken out some of the fun of uh, invading the Soviet donut. Uh, I was really interested in cracking that nut, but uh, yeah, now, yeah, it's been cracked. Ohelm the second died. I thought I shot him a while ago. Uh, why am I still getting German defectors? I am Germany! You're defecting to yourself! I, uh, I really wish the Soviets would capitulate. But here we are. There you go, another cost of a million Dutch people. Uh, we have managed to almost capitulate them, though. And uh, we did do two million casualties on them, so you know what? It's not that bad. Actually, you know what? I say Dutch people, but at this point of the game, I don't think there's any Dutch people left. It's probably all Germans. There you go. We are almost done, though. Are we done? Is that it? 
Hey, there you go. That would have been a lot more fun if the allies did get involved. I gotta say that much. Well, there we go. Game is over. And I actually managed to salvage the majority of the Russians in the peace conference there. Although, uh, they did get a few things, those cheeky little allied bastards. There you go. That was our never surrendering as the Dutch. And, uh, it did go pretty well. It was pretty fun. Uh, up until the allies... Ruining my game, but uh, yeah, I need to start playing these late scenarios. We need to go back to stuff that doesn't take hours. Hey, enjoyed the video? Leave a like, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you all in the next one.